Hello, everybody. I think I'm about ready to get started. Let's chat a little bit. So recently, we just hit another stream milestone for 600 viewers and followers. So thank you all again for the support. Today, we're just going to do a little bonus stream for PSO before going into our regularly scheduled stuff after a break. But for now, we'll see who's around and if anybody wants to hop in for some runs. There was an update that happened during the event to basically change the order of drops. I think it's probably for the best. Welcome, Murphy. They now change it so that monster rares are first and foremost, which I fully agree. <laughs> I, I think everybody... I, I mean, we talked about it a little bit on stream about why potentially we don't do things like cookie runs during events. Um, but one of, the, one of the big things is just the fact that the event items used to take priority over monster rares. So I basically just saw it as a means of leveling during a celebration versus other things. Now it's more of a legitimate actual run. So now the order is monster rare items, event items, music discs, everything else. Which is good, because I'm sure... I think even yesterday it happened, we got, I think, bronze badged or something in one of the Conjurus. I think that was yesterday. So, anyway, hopefully no more boss drops uh, get eaten by silly uh, low-end badges. I think chat would be okay if it was a platinum badge, but... <laughs> it, it would be nice if Falls and Olga Flow and everybody else did not drop those. And now they no longer do. So, agreeable change. And you wedding march for the 735th time instead of 100 Heaven Striker. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty accurate. So we're going to go ahead and launch the game. I was going to say bonus points to anybody that actually recognizes the soundtrack being played. We're going into the obscure territory. See, if I heard this song, I would literally... I could even tell you whose theme this is. I play. I played this game too much. Kaiser says, I finally broke down and grinded a ranger wall and used materials. Wait, and grind it? Wait. I'm not sure what that means. G and grid it. Oh, button mash. Oh, yeah, I mean, you should get a ranger ball. Yeah, you could button mash or do the timing minigame. Yeah. Timing wasn't bad, but at, at one point, when, when, when turbo wasn't really a big deal, I just had it on turbo. I just walked away. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, chat. I just walked away initially before that became a hot topic issue now now i will never do that so anyway what would people like to hunt today would you like to give heaven striker xcal or something else a try Play the minigames for three hours. Does it take that long? I don't remember. As I said before, I, I mostly walked away from that. It was just for 300 points, right? I mean, it definitely takes a while. Definitely at least an hour, but I don't know about three hours. I, I guess it depends on which minigame you're doing. Yeah, that, that sounds pretty long. Oh, Murphy is in the lobby. So I'm thinking we could probably try just to see if Heaven Striker Cannon Rouge Excal will show up today. Oh no, it felt like an eternity. That I agree with Kaiser. So if anybody wants to hop in, I'm thinking some Desert Sky Episode 4. Might as well as try the 19 Goron Detonators. So I'm going to go ahead and make the game. This character a little more experience so i'll play this character until he levels so it's probably going to be three quests if i had to guess so we'll fight a total of i do math 57 grand detonators with a one in 1463 base chance or something like that
No, uh, Lambda Argent first. We'll do Heaven next. I'm gonna go through all the major hunts. Just say that we did them. So it'll be Lambda Argent, Heaven Striker, Cannon Rouge, my own greedy hunt, TTF or something like that. Excal Hamster Lame, yeah, pretty much. So I figured, give it a chance. Give it a shot. See how it goes. <laughs> it's gonna say the all-cast army. I feel bad for this upcoming area. <laughs> Just, it's gonna get hosed. So we'll do at least three of these. Then, I haven't decided if it would make sense to just combine the Heaven Striker Cannon Rouge runs. To just do like Red ID, Episode E, maybe? I could play a Force potentially into that. I'm not gonna worry to chat about it. Or I could play Hookah Seal. Honestly, I don't really care. But the timing minigame is the timer starts with the sound cue, not the actual timer. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> That's a good point in parameter. I remember feeling that. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I was going to say I literally had a timer. <laughs> I had a real life timer when I did one of those. I'm like, no, no, no. When does this actual thing start? This is shenanigans. It's not mistimed. Get out of here. It looks like the robot army is here. I guess we'll get started. I thought I hit down on the D-pad. I failed. Yeah, we'll do some desert, then uh... I guess we could add the surface by itself. There's nothing wrong with that. So that way we can add to the anniversary and say we did something. So we'll do red surface at some point. <laughs> Teleport into this, dummy. Get out of here. Yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't recommend mashing on a real controller for sure. I'm gonna say, does anybody want to take a wild guess as to what game we're listening to? I can try to give hints about the game. Those that want to try to actually guess it, guess it. We'll go for hint number one. It's a PlayStation 1 game. We'll do a hint every couple minutes. We'll see if anybody guesses it. Poor Gertabulu. Yeah, sadly I don't have demons, so it's gonna take a while. No Zalora, no demons, rip. Did mine too early, my bad. Say so hint number two. It's actually part of a much larger game series, and if I said the series, I almost guarantee you, you have probably heard of the series. It is not that obscure. This game is obscure. The series, not so much. That is a hint as to which one it is in the series. <laughs> in fact, if I even said a character name from it, I'm sure you would guess the series. That's how confident I am somebody knows the series. We heard one of the character themes earlier. out of here. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, we needed the lore or something here. It's going to take forever.
Whip Savoy. Oh, no, no. I'll tell you what the series is. With another hint. You've probably heard of the characters from the series before, because they've had guest characters including Yoda and Darth Vader. <laughs> Why, says Blue Donna. It is Soul Calibur, that is the series. That is not the name of this game. Get out of here, Zoo. I'm gonna put a freeze trap in the corner for the team. Oh, they shot the trap. No, rip, freeze trap. So sad. I got bodied. This is kind of the... I don't know what its official relationship is to the main series, but it has all the characters from it. We heard Cervantes' theme earlier. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, I didn't get hit. Okay, miracle. But anyway, this is Soul Blade on the PS1. Back when Siegfried was his own character. I guess he came back as his own character later. This is like the origin story of that. Get out of here. Bop, bop. here. Please someone get the fireball guy off me. There we go. Damn, that ate at my uh, resources pretty heavily. I think I'm still good for the, yeah, I'm still good for the next room. I got some bars. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Casual blue Adoshi Violet Nima now. I will say it feels like we're seeing a lot less badges, but you know, we're pretty early on. Rid of these. So we know at the far end of the room are going to be the triple Goron detonators. So we'll work our way through these, I think. Since I'm a hunter, I should probably assist here. Speed it up a little. Goodbye, Zoo. There we go. Nyrum. Goodbye, Zoo. Satellite lizard. <laughs> I was gonna say multiple multiple people just saw the bristles and went, mm-mm. Freeze trap immediately went out. No thoughts. <laughs> it's just nope. Not dealing with that. Not a psycho wand. That was not the zoo I was looking to aim at. That really sucked. 
but he teleported in front of me. That blows. Let's try this again. Better. Much faster. Goodbye, Greta Bulu. Trap. <laughs> it was brutally murdered. No setup, only death. Rip trap. Fortunately, I sold a few spare. Perish. So much damage to them when they're frozen. What the heck? Any <laughs> gun says no. Oh, it doesn't quite stun lock. It's unfortunate. I guess we could do some desert into surface anniversary event. And we could do a full couple completions for Galatine. That kind of makes sense. That way we can technically double up on Cannon Rouge and Heaven Striker later if we want to. This is the rap battle theme. Whoever playing is the nunchuck guy. I think his name is Maxi. All I would try is ring out people. I would even try to play the stage legit. I just want to go for ring out. All I want, Chad. that a normal attack is doing a thousand damage because it hits five times. It's just silly. But we'll do two more, even though it looks like I'm going to level next time. Do rules of three, I guess. Yeah, we have so many casts, so I almost think we could just spam our freezes. As long as, like, 
I don't know. I guess we could talk about who should be spamming freezes. I, I don't really care. I, I know how to do all the setups for the later rooms. So if we want somebody just literally burning every freeze trap until they're out, <laughs> just say out and somebody else sticks over, that's fine. Because honestly, I think we could probably do that. I don't see... I mean, I think we have like, what, 60 freeze traps between us, potentially? There's like, what, 40 waves? Some of them don't even get affected by freeze trap. Yeah, I think I think we could spam. Hopefully everybody's doing well today. Be nice to level this character up a little more. I mean, I'm gonna volunteer to burn pretty much all my traps because I'm gonna get reset this run. So I don't mind going crazy the first few rooms. I figure we go for potentially useful items for all characters. Come on, Lame to Argent. You still got some chances. <laughs> and we'll go for Galatine later. With a small extra side of potentially Cannon Rouge. It's unlikely. Oh, he just immediately teleported. That's annoying. Towards the end of the quest, I should get reset. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand near the doorway in preparation for the Pyrogorons to keep them under control. I know it's going to be the oops on Marissa soon. Man, you can see when my charge Vulcan kicks in, it's like... Alright, so put some freeze traps down for sure. There we go. Strong lockdown. Love to see it. What a massacre. You know, with them confused, it should allow the gunners to actually shoot their backs, which is kind of nice. Kind of like I'm just using Vulcans on them. I didn't even bother equipping a melee weapon like that. So dumb. Star Atomizer for healing. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good, because that means I have like seven Trimate, seven stars. Not bad. And I can regen HP while I wait.
Did I vote to convict? No, I did not, Promethea. Welcome, Promethea. little massacre going on. So because I know I'm gonna level, I can just kind of go trap crazy, which should help just the party in general. But I'm already seeing like a difference in the clear speed because we're being hyper aggressive with freeze traps. I got six more freeze traps to go. And as I said before, I should level at some point. Sure, I'll pick one up, I guess. There's always new players that need stuff for learning techs. Well, almost out of freeze traps. Five more to go. So I know at the end of this room is going to be the triple Goron detonator. I can set up a confused trap so that way they fight each other. Makes it easier for the rangers. I can even disc of this. I'm gonna start running to the other end of the room. Done. Still got three freezes left. I'm really not that far from leveling at this point either. What? That was weird. I feel like the zoo kind of yanked himself upwards early. It was interesting. Nicely done. Got one free strap left. Zoo conveniently flew towards me. Welcome, RJ Chaos. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the congrats. I'm officially out of freeze traps, but I should level very soon. Like, within 6k. So I don't think I should do the runway walk to confuse trap. Because I don't know if that'll level me or not. I mean, maybe it will. It's gonna be really close. Yeah, I might be like one kill shy of resetting on that room, which is so sad. I love doing the runway walk. They part, you go down the middle, confuse trap, then you're positioned for the freeze. Let's see, would this have leveled me? Maybe? Oh, they're worth quite a bit. Actually, I think it would have leveled. Damn. At least now I could put a free trap here. Four enemies. Yeah, that's where I kind of like the seeing the XP needed to level. 
I could gauge pretty close. I mean, I was within, like, one enemy of guessing whether I would level. So the fact that, like, I knew I could just abuse it the whole run. Kind of important information. It does shape it to be very aggressive with traps when you know you got more. I'm gonna take some damage, I think. Man, Raffi, Raffi's saying no to me today. Damn. Take that, Raffi. And cohorts. Do before it becomes a problem. Get some refreezes if I need to. Yeah, this is like night and day faster. I think we're almost like two whole minutes faster. And we still gotta kill the Gerdabulu, but that's about it. Big time save. Frozen. Stop. Here, um, goodbye, Gerda Bulu. Yeah, that was like legit two minutes faster. Good job, group. Official, my pride hurts. 40 hit Elysian. 35 hit Gale Vong and 0 hit Frozen Shooter in the next room. Oof. Goodbye, all the enemies. We'll do one more. Good practice for later. And we'll give up on lame for a while. The fact that it's almost 200,000 experience is kind of bonkers. It's definitely really good for catching people up before we do harder runs. I'm too- I'm almost scared to do a, a, a green ID all the way to the boss. I feel like I'm gonna get conjured again. As badly as I want uh, a Galatine. I was gonna say Promethean. We we pass by so many 50 hit calibers of uselessness. And then I think I think I also saw a 35 hit Gable which is the other day. I remember commenting on it. And I was like, where was that when I rolled the all zero daylight scar? <laughs> it was like a one. I'm like, can you imagine if I had like a 30 dark, 30 hit or something like that? Daylight Scar, how good that would have been. Oh well. One day, chat, one day. I'm going to open my guide later and check the differences for what I wrote between green and red surface. Which one I preferred to run. I'm still going to go pretty crazy on traps here. Nice level up. Uh, I'm noticing a lot less uh, badges. <laughs> Remote battery, a lot less.
I think today was the first time I have ever seen the Heavenly Mind drop in the many, many, many zoos that we've killed. <laughs> Where we've seen like a, a trillion badges. Yeah. I guess the, the plus and the minus is that a lot of the a lot of the junk rares are gonna appear now, for better or for worse. But it also means that the bosses stop doing that, which is, I think, slightly more important when you're doing these kinds of runs. I definitely don't want to see any more Conjuru Bronze Badge. I mean, in theory, it could still happen, but at least we now know that it was like... It rolled that way versus, oh, if it wasn't an event, what would it have rolled? I can see when my uh, charge Vulcan hits, it's just like near him. But I, I think it's probably how it should have been. It does mean that it's a nerf to like. I don't know. Stuff with like junk rares that are very common. So I guess like Forest and Caves got a nerf. But for everything else, it's just better. Where you actually care about most of the enemy rares. I mean, I noticed attack desync is back. Not really. I haven't noticed anything. I mean, I've been watching Gerdabula Health. It's pretty consistently going down. There's a lot of people hitting the Gerdabula. Yeah, so it just it just means like characters that have like the stupid like HP revivals or whatever are just gonna give you those garbage drops more often now. But if you're actually going for hunts, it's better. Oh, well, I'm pretty far behind. Nice full tundra. I'm gonna get a lame to Argent finally. Nice. Okay. We can officially say that one was found eventually. 15 hit, nice. Yeah, it basically devalues the ones where you just mass farm badges, essentially. So, like, if you're just doing, like, pink CCC and there's only a couple of drops, and the big appeal of it is just mass badge collection, those kinds of quests have been nerfed. But I think every other endgame area is just improved in general. Like, what we're doing is pretty improved, because there's a, we, we don't want it to give us a badge over lame and stuff like that. Similarly, if people are fighting a Hilda tour, they don't really want it there. Like, if it's the non-rare version, then nobody cares. Then it's a nerf. But if it's the rare version, it's a buff. I try some purple CCA for HP and rest play. Interesting. Oh, Rumble Battery. Were you the person that asked me at the end of one of the videos if I had a handgun Mila? I remember somebody did, and I don't think I ever addressed that. But yes, to answer that question, no, I did not get it from gambling. Somebody asked me at the end. It might have been like two streams ago. Yeah, no, I got it from uh, White ID Forest, because White ID Forest broken. And it rolled with hit, so... Dot, dot, dot. <laughs>
But no, I didn't gamble or do anything else for it. Didn't trade for it either. Gotta find me a gold now. Technically, I've joined Tiggy on a couple hunts. I'm not super interested. Actually, you know what? I don't need anything from the other room. I thought about it, looked at the item drops, and like, nah. Go back. Changed my mind. Uh, in some late, I'm just gonna pair up for a Goron Detonator, I think. Thank you for the paralysis, that helps a lot. So much damage. <laughs> I love everybody dropped it, we're like, nah. Nothing but freeze traps. Direct fool. Yeah, for the most part, I'm not looking for literally any Uber other than Psycho Mon. The problem is, like, the gold hunts are just kind of terrible. Like, it's, like, what, white ruins and something in tower? Might also be white tower. It's one of those ones where I'm like, uh, <laughs> it exists. Oh, you're referencing my document with the big six. Uh, yeah, for the most part. I mean, my own drops are kind of bad. Like, I don't super need Lame to Argent, but I know other people do. But, like, I have really bad Cannon Rouge. And there's a couple of female items that I would like to actually roll with Hit or something. That way I can make use of them more frequently. Yeah, I gotta touch up the guide. I'm gonna touch it up, I think, a little bit on Friday. So there's a couple sections I gotta rewrite. But it's not, like... It's not major or anything. I just wanna add more information than what was present. No. Rambly May and Vivian are separate. They're not worth as much. People just don't care about that item. Like, they're good. They're, they're probably in, like, the top 15 items for trade value, but they're not, like, they're not, like, anywhere near close to, like, how the top six are. I, I pulled those aside because those can literally net you thousands of EDs. A Vivian might net you, like, a couple hundred, if it's good. Uh, it has potential, but it's more of a on the bottom end of that scale. How are they not targetable? That sucks. Yeah, essentially it's just like the the high rollers, uh, only really competing with like hit percentages on Ubers, like in terms of like hunt value. But again, like the Ubers are just very low chance of just existing, so sometimes you kind of kind of view them as like a base price. But due to the fact that their rate is so bad, they're effectively only adding like a couple of effective like PDs per run. Just because it's so unlikely that you'll come across them. Like, in theory, you could do a run and get, like, several thousand worth of PD, like, instantly in any run that requires, like, a hit range on weapons. 
But the fact that you could just go for something like a white ID, frozen shooter, plus handgun, plus other guaranteed PDs, just kind of silly. So it's like, I'll always value those higher than the other runs from that perspective. Like, don't get me wrong, Vivian still is, like, one of the reasons you would ever consider doing, like, temple runs. Because it, it does net some stuff, but the meta does not favor that weapon over something universally game-breaking, like a Heaven Striker. If I go to Bulu. Yeah, so it's like, I, I think they're like, you know, in their respective areas, they're definitely like top, top five in that area, but like overall, not that high. Red Ring carries a lot of the, the value and appeal of something like a TTF. Just because it's you can't get it anywhere else, so it just kind of locks it into that. Oops. All right, so let's do some red ID surface. I'll switch into a Hugh seal, I guess. I don't really need my red phony to level. We'll do three of these, and then we'll maybe do a couple of mixed runs, where I might bring in the Red Force for a, a full clear. Just to say we did a little bit of Heaven Striker and other things as well. That's not the right episode. <laughs> like episode two, no. I like that it just associate episode two as a mistake. I'm like, I see it, I'm just like, no, that can't be right. You're not feeling well. Get rest. <laughs> so we'll do some red ID surface and then maybe we'll do... I guess we could do a new mop up on red ID or something just to mix it up a little. Then in theory, some yellow ID runs for Galatine slash Daylight Scar. And also technically still can't have Rouge. I haven't decided if I wanted to do any kind of serious grinding for like, just to say that we did it, blue ID ruins. <laughs> or uh, the Heaven Striker. This character does have P501 on, that's what I wanted to verify. Here, um... Closer... Freeze trap down... Paralyze everything with kunai, because it's funny. <laughs> so dumb. I love this weapon chat. It's like I have my own- it's spread needle at home. Ah. Uh. Deal with the rapies. Hey, where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Wait a minute, I hit two out of three. Where's the third?
Fio AI says, I thought Kunai is a force weapon, but it works nice on a cast. Oh, yeah, it's one of my favorite, like, utility rares in the game. I like that not only is it paralysis on a hunter, and it has range, which they don't usually have access to, but the fact that, like, it can triple hit, this means, like, I'm almost always going to land that hit there. Like, I don't even have to think about it. Like, I'm going to hit that. I just do it again. Like, you can't really stop me from doing this. You know, triple application. So with the Hugh Castile in particular, she doesn't even need a hit percentage to hit it all the time. I have one because it's funny. So if she's playing solo, she doesn't need it. Multiplayer, she needs like a little bit of a bump. Like the bare minimum hit kunai will be enough to 100% land it. But the fact that she gets potentially, you know, one, two, three on the third shot means I could just do stuff like this. There's not much they could do. So if I just want to play super support for the Rangers, for example, I could just do this. Like, what can they do? But you can see, you can have a lot of crowd control with it. I also like that it can hit switches. If you're playing, like, spaceship, the fact that you can use it to hit those annoying dub switches as a hunter is kind of important. Especially if you like doing RT. Goodbye, Zoo. So if I time this well, I might be able to just bully the Astarks into paralysis. Let's see, though. So he's already paralyzed. He's paralyzed. He's paralyzed. <laughs> so I'm going to move over here because I don't really want to get Dorfond. Yeah, the fact that it can hit uh, between 1 to 3 or hit one person multiple times usually just means Dorfon gets hard bullied. And unlike if you do it when a force, with a force, it's just uh, way higher base accuracy. Instead of needing like a 40 hit kunai for like the foam moral or something, just a 15. Maybe like a 30 if I'm a Hugh cast. feel like the rare spawn was nerfed. It's how rare spawns always work. I don't know what to tell you. It's not like we saw many rare spawns yesterday aside from the Andrew. I'll call it small sample size. Here um See, there we go. That's okay damage at point blank. If I just want to chip him out like that, I could do it, technically. There we go. You can see the three that I paralyzed. Disgusting. Way. 
Yeah, I mean, like, we saw, like, one rare enemy aside from rare bosses. We, we came across, like, nothing yesterday. You know what? I, I cannot believe I walked in between the gap that was in there, but I'm glad I did. It's been a lot of damage. I'm gonna heal now. Uh, get the other one off me. Uh, I'm reviving people. Yeah, I can't kunai if I'm being lasered full screen. There we go. There we go. Heavenly battle. I guess I could pick one of those up. Out of room. Oh, I have like a million escape dolls. I'll drop escape doll. Alright, this is gonna be one of the rudest spawns that they added in. I'm just gonna walk backwards. This spawn is so rude. There we go. One paralyzed. Uh oh, where's the rest of the group? The nice thing is you could just keep reapplying Paralysis. Oh, I could stunlock them forever if I need to, if it's less than three. Freeze doesn't stack. Paralysis does, which is nice. But it'll just reset it. So I'm like, I'm like a quasi spread needle user here. So far today, we haven't seen any rare enemies, but as I said before, I I haven't really noticed a difference. I think the closest we saw was a rare boss, which we'll probably see later today. We'll see if I get the quintuple conjure which ideally we will not be uh, bronze badged on ever again, but we'll see. So I need to put more items away so I can hold more. It's a little shy in damage. I'm so close. Just need to hit him once. There we go. I could probably put away my twin blaze for the most part. Well, I mean, I guess I could still use it here in theory. Yeah, like I'm still using like a gear assault here. I would like to have a good Vivian to replace this. Alright, so we know it's gonna be. Oh, they added more Astarks in this wave. Huh. I guess that's another difference. But anyway, come to me. I think with paralysis, we could keep them mostly locked down forever. That enemy is kind of hose. There we go. Good control. You have to put some items away. The character was probably doing some solo uh, TTF. Box 
pieces. Sure. I'll check for photon crystals. Why not? We'll do two more of those. Then we might do a full episode four at the end. Though if at any point we get conjure you, the run ends. <laughs> just, we immediately just go to yellow ID. Just, it's over. Tired right, of getting trolled. Oh, you hear their music. I'm gonna be like, are you, are you still there? I really need my disco right now. Show me my centurion. One down, two more to go. I'd say we added more points to the total to something other than desert. <laughs> While still getting quite a bit of experience. Congratulations, Promethean. He's got a handgun Tello. Or, handgun Mila from Tello. How's the hunt going? Uh, so one lame to Argent so far. Promethean on a different game managed to get a handgun melee today. You're doing well, Dango. So unfair, so much paralysis. That he politely stands still when I miss special. But either way, I get the desired effect. It's so unfair. Suck at work. Sorry to hear that, Dango. Oh, there's rare Pazuzu. 
die, Pizuzu. I did the free straps not hit. Wow. Oh, I'm the only player that didn't get something from that. That's brutal. <laughs> right, chat? Actually brutal. Literally the only person that didn't get it. Damn. No love from PSO today. Conspiracy's real. I should have probably kept the disc in hindsight. Whatever. I'm not gonna go back for it. I can still use Jaya. So, yeah, fortunately, the runs are pretty quick here. Me last night? Oh no. We'll group them together. We'll do a nice little swing. See how they like it. Down. I'll just go Rayman with hit dropped. Too bad the hit percentage is not good. I guess I could in theory give it to new players. I guess. When he hits like eh. it's something I would give to like a raw mar or a raw moral. Seriously, leave me alone. Keep it ass star. Oh, you confuse trap them? I was about to blitz them, but never mind. Perfect. See, see, I don't care about freezing that. I want the Astark frozen. As long as the Astark's frozen, I don't care. The others could be confused. Tunnel lizards don't matter. I'm just more worried about getting bodied by Astark. Sad that it was zero hit. Oh no. Yeah, I forget. I forget if mine's a 20 or a 30 hit. I don't remember. Like some in the share bank. I'll take a look. I got triple hit because I did not go in the gap. Yeah, we kind of need somebody to fireball that. I mean, I, I in theory could with Twin Blaze, but it's awkward. I'm just going to lock this one down. Uh oh. The others are out of control. I'll put some damage for the team. Too bad. What's on crystal? Sure.
Yeah, this is where I wanted the disc gun. Oh well. Not a big deal. We have so much damage. It's okay for me to be single target briefly. Poor Buddha is getting shut down hard. Another disc gun, no hit, sadly. At least we can also say we went for Disco Brayman. Technically. We're doing we're doing all the all the hunts. <laughs> Galatine, Nex Cal, Disco Brave Man, Cannon Rouge, Heaven Striker. Nice. Maybe we'll do Jaya later. Bad, not too bad. It's so much damage. <laughs> Thank you, Jaya. I was gonna say, I'm out of there. Try to kill some of these so that Spread Needle doesn't need this many. That should work. I know we're pretty fast. And we'll do green ID until I get conjured. So it might be a single run, we'll see. V5 is a placebo over V501 for paralysis. I I was gonna say I like the V501 on this character. I'm not using hell on her most of the time. I don't have like S rank hells. I'm gonna identify this to skill and give it out to somebody later. We'll do one more. Yeah, we're making good progress today. right now I don't have a 13 on I am more meant to just tank hits for single player oh I do like the song the world theme Technically, even beat. Interesting. Disc of Earth, technically. Oh. 
on Canterbury's. <laughs> I do like that even if we do like green ID all the way through, in theory, it could still be a can of rouge if Dorf on is rare. Any literally anything than all zero. Mine are terrible. I think my highest is like 20% ABs. And that's zero hit. They're they're pretty much like I I could literally just get them for a PD levels of value. Like they're not good. Sadly, it looks like today will not be that day, at least for this run so far. Goodbye, my health bar. You were used for a good cause, which was speeding up the run. Uh, yeah, it's good, but imagine if it had any hits so I could actually heavy attack. <laughs> Just keep in mind, I couldn't heavy attack with the Hugh cast, because it's got no hit percentage. So I'm automatically missing out 200 damage. Easy. Because I think my normal is like 300 and my power is 500. So it's like, it would make a very big difference in clear speed. If I got one of those. Oh, in my defense, I did put down the uh, Wind Blaze, but people weren't near it. Uh, you know what, I'll go back to the Grinders. Might as well as improve the damage of the weapon I'm currently using. Yeah, it's pretty much bottom of the barrel. Like, Ramar doesn't need it. Ramar, for the most part, also doesn't need it for hit percentage. Rockcast needs it. Rockcast Seal needs a very low version of it. Like, I, I, if it rolls bare minimum hit, that's good enough for Rock to Seal. I think for a Rock Cast, I need to be 20. Possibly 25. It depends on the enemy. So it's like, right now, I don't really need to gear up the Raw Mars. It's more, more making sure my Rock Cast just deletes enemies. Consistently. There we go, that was for chat. I put out more Twin Blaze. By Dorfon. Uh oh, lyrics. No. Oh, rare Rappy. I mean, I don't want any rares from it, but I'll take the experience. Out of here, random enemies. Perish. The song is called Desperate Struggle. Get out of here, Zeus.
<laughs> wow, the number of confused traps that went in there. That was hilarious, actually. We're just like, listen, hold on a second. Wow, I didn't even get anything from Rare Rappy. That's so sad. Chad, I think I'm missing a 50-50, a, a and it's like 45% more weighted in my favor. It's, it's pretty abysmal, I'm not gonna lie. Holy. Well, time to see if the only rare that matters pops up here. Oh, I got bronze badged, man. Man. That, that feels terrible. I got the pity reward. Shake your head, chat. My satellite lizard, you must perish. I missed that many kunais, really? That's unlucky. I missed the uh, three chances at 75%. It's kind of brutal. Not gonna lie, that's pretty bad. Because that had nothing to do with my character accuracy. I was at 122% with Smart Link. Big oof on that one. So far, I have yet to see a single dwarf on a clear this event. Hoping we see it when we switch over to green or yellow. Might as well just go to trap crazy. Got nothing better to do. By Astar. Oh, I like how they pose together. Reminds me of that uh, urn where it looks like an urn or two faces. Depending on if you look at the positive or negative of the image. Skull badge. Oof. Bronze badge. been forecast correctly. Rangers human. That is interesting and unlucky. It's fine. Oh, I got clipped. That sucked. Rip me. At least chip him out. Chip him out too. Not 
I'll take that. You know what? That was somehow still sub 10 minutes. I'll take it. Alright, so I'm gonna switch over to a force. We're gonna do a full quest all the way to the boss. I I have a sneaking suspicion I will be conjured when I do not want to be conjured. Something tells me, based off of yesterday's performance. Yeah, it's nice to play the Hukka Seal a bit. Still a little bit of time left in even beat, but I don't feel like playing QP Laser. It's actually getting pretty close to leveling. I wonder if I'm going to accidentally hit 200 with him. Well, time to find out. How much does he need to level? Oh, 3.3 mil. That's a little bit of time. Oops, Cervantes theme again. He's playing. <laughs> V101, V801, nothing else in between. I respect that. Although that means I'm, I'm lacking it up. I should put one more add up in the share bank. Artemer, Rafoe, Gafoe, Red Ring. It should cover everything. Where are his weapons at? Uh, I'll bring 50 hit Astron Belt in, I guess. Do I feel like Holy Rang? Not really. I try to Guardiana with Hit. There's enough people that could potentially let me do this. Also, how am I out of space? Oh, because he has stuff in his inventory. That checks out. Uh, drop. Probably put away my die mates, because I don't need those. Storm wand. I would probably only want fire scepter I staff. Honestly, I think I'd rather just bare hand cast. Do something like Rafoe Merge, Astron Belt. That should be interesting. Because you know, I can just play melee for no reason with this character. Nice, let's do a full quest clear. As we learned the other day, Cannon Rouge does not randomly deal damage to each individual part of the boss, which is big. Now at least we have non Heaven Striker force ways of dealing with that. Right, time for me to bully some Rappies. Yeah, when they're frozen, I can actually just hit them with all heavy attacks. That's kind of funny. I'm gonna say if the foam bar can do it, anybody can do it. Oh, I didn't bring a bringer's rifle. That was silly. I went through the mental checklist of what I needed. I forgot the most obvious thing. One second as I go back for it. You keep fighting. Like, you can't not bring a bringers. There we go. Slow them down a little bit. Oh, 
Oh, demons, please. So sad. There we go. Put my red ring back on while I'm bullying things. Demons, get wrecked. Yeah, there we go. Played the deletion game with the party. Yeah, with paralysis, I can actually land it consistently. It's kind of nice being Fomar in this scenario. I just don't feel like Gafoe stacking. I just beat them to death with Astron Belt. There's also one less S Stark in this version. So the ways are mostly the same, there's just more enemies. Yeah, without two forces, it's kind of hard to get Bowie Sack kill anything, even with the Phonium in here. Really need to chip him out a little bit. Hopefully somebody at least gets a V101. That would be nice. Because like this fat oh, hit level 200, never mind. demons or not just, just let me down demons it's fine I didn't, I didn't need you to trigger at any point so sad Look at that damage. This is so much better than Gafoeing. <laughs> just, just wallop him. Get out of my face. Debuff, debuff, debuff. Kind of works. Nice foot on crystal. 
poor enemies. <laughs> they don't even think they, they can injure the party when they're like this. Like, they're just actually useless. There we go. We'll play as the hunter here. Get out of here. Scared myself a little there. I'm not gonna lie. Definitely no door front to clear here. Pretty fast. Oh, true. I should probably leave, instead of God Technique, I should probably put BB crates on. I mean, I have enough to donate, but. Since I'm actually meleeing, but in the future. I'm just gonna make sure they basically just never hurt the party. <laughs> Even if I don't have the kunai, I'm just gonna shut them down real hard right now. Anyway. Tactic of Foey stacking for later. Fact. Do this with the Foey merge on. Yeah, I like to melee the surface, but underground I usually switch over. In fact. Oh, I don't have a magical piece on. Oops. Thought I did. I'll take this, better than nothing. We'll stunlock the zoos, and then we'll be in a good position to deal with the Marissas. What we could really ask for here. Yeah, see that? Like, I put them down to like 500 ish on the point blank one. The rest aren't too far away. Yeah, like these waves. Oh, I should have moved forward. I mean, at least not all of them ran away. I think only one did. Could be worse. I'll keep doing this because I know Marissa's coming up in the funnel wave. Goodbye, all the always and satellite lizards. And I'm definitely going to debuff this. Then with a couple of Rafoes, chip him out. Should be big damage to this guy. Honestly, they're doing so much damage, I don't even have to demon. <laughs> Just like, as long as there's a lore, like, they'll, they'll get there. It'll be fine. The little zigzag that time. And if I walk into the center, I can get a double debuff into a Zoran, or, yeah, a Zong. I can still lock them down fairly well, even if they're not frozen. Just a little unlucky if they both hit me. There we go. Put out a couple of for next wave. It's a little more manageable.
almost seals in time. That's close. I'm gonna say, jokes on them, they let me actually shoot out more fireballs than normal. There we go, traditional force things are happening. Ooh, almost a one-shot. Pretty close. So if I had a... I'll probably go back and get a magical piece from my bag. I think that would have been worth it there. Demons, please. Why can I not hit the shot? Oh, there we go. That was silly. Part of Flame Verge. Nice. take that try fluid and that's gonna be the triple grand detonator so I'm gonna unequip my item just so I can but I'll bully him real quick debuff debuff lock down So yeah, between all these debuffs, they're really not going to threaten the party that much. Um, is Goron Detonator in the middle? I should probably move. I do do this, though. There we go, got the freeze. about the satellite lizards because they take forever to kill. Should set up for the next wave to slow them down as well. There we go. Slow them down with some resons. They done. Goodbye. All time crystal, nice. Sufficiently wounded. There we go. The lore at least should speed up the fight with them a little bit. They happen to hit each other with confused, it could be funny. Rappies. Oh, I actually didn't speak to Rappies. They got frozen and I comboed them. <laughs> Usually they flee when I do this. Whatever, we'll take this. Poor Marissa is actually just instantly dead. Spawned to die. One day you're relating me for a hundred. Damn, that nerf is real. Bonk.
demons, please. Where are my demon procs? There we go. I was gonna say, why, why have you forsaken me? I probably don't want Ice Step on. I probably want Rick Bowie. Hey, how hard will I be trolled? Will this be please don't be contrary? Okay. I, I get to go for Galatine. Oh no. Everybody's moving but me. That's not good. Oh boy. Um. Good luck indeed. Wish me. Give me moral support on this one as I solo this whole fight. It's so annoying. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> you see him bought me out of the cutscene? <laughs> Thanks. Wow, what a jerk. Well, I guess I'm nearer to the cave entrance. I guess that's one way to get closer. I went, wee. Alright, well, I'm gonna go back to Rafarda for this boss. If anybody is Cannon Rouge, they're welcome to join. I'm gonna walk into that willingly. Really? Put it in like the only spot that would block me. What a jerk. Buff time for sure. A little too early with the heal. At least I could chip him out a little bit. Like I have a negative 3% chance to hit him with the normal attack, by the way. It's cute. Yeah, you, oh no. Yeah, you might have to just normal attack him. Raw cast without a hit cannon rouge is kind of brutal. Yeah. I'm getting bullied hard by these spinners. It's kind of annoying. Almost dead though. Okay. Well, wasn't too bad. <laughs> Missile, missile, missile. <laughs> oh, I got healed by another player. I got trolled. Oh, I tried activating my blast. I so badly wanted to do that just to break the game. So close. Sadly. I did not get the wiggle. I'm pointing. I'm like, there's the galatine. I want something like that. It could be all zeroed. I'm not even going to get mad if it's all zeroed. I just don't have them. Oh, still level up. Boom. So we'll do two more of these. Then probably the quest again, but this time in yellow ID. Then we'll probably end with some DTFs. Actually, maybe just a single TTF. I have to remember, I have something to do around 540. The run took about 20 minutes. So around 5 we'll wrap up. So maybe we'll do yellow another day. Unless I get trolled and I see Conjuru, then I will do a yellow ID. But as well let's go for Heaven Strikers. Yeah, both green and yellow ID can get Cannon Rouge from Dwarf on a Clear, which would be nice. Galatine is a 1 in 64. On both yellow and green as well. 
Maybe I'll do one more green, one more yellow then, and then end with two TTFs. Maybe that makes more sense. anniversary event while we're waiting. Yeah, I'm not sure what time I'll begin playing on Friday. I would just check the Discord. Because honestly, it depends on how much of I need a break. Depending on what happens tomorrow. Survey says... Crater is 8,000 points. That's not too bad. That'd just be August atrocities if we wanted to cap the event. Yeah, we'll do one last one for this one. Done. So one last green. And we'll do one yellow. And two TTFs. Tornado, yeah, pretty much. A tornado a robot circling me. Oh, I was gonna say, this is the intro. Why'd they put the intro at the end? Weird. All right, one second, chat. Damn, Del Rappi. Unfortunate. I hit the Kafoe button by accident. I hate doing that. That's why I usually don't like playing Force into this, because it's just... I see Rappy, I want to burn them. And then I realize after I press it, I shouldn't press it. There's nothing I could do. It, I, I can't make it go away if I accidentally press it. Because I only used one Gafoe, and that was enough to still mess it up. Unfortunate. Anyway, back to real Gafoe stacking. Yeah, I'd love to see a Cannon Rouge strong enough to just bully that boss in Episode 4. Because then I would probably bring a Raw Cast here full-time. Like, that that would inspire me to make, like, a level 200 Raw Cast. That is just a bully ID. And to be honest, I already have a yellow ID one in case I want to do the Galatine slash Daylight Scar Hunt. It's, like, not the worst at it already. Oh, you're not wearing a ranger wall now? I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> you don't need levels to wear a ranger wall. Objection. You're an ultimate. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Gracia for giga defense. Oh, you don't need defense. Just just never, never miss. Just believe. Take the leap, Murphy. TA for Yash for the cop, okay. I was gonna say, so does Ranger Wall. Okay, there we go. Fine, I'll explode the satellite lizards. Oh, resist for falls? That makes sense. Yeah, with Paralysis, I actually don't even need to have Red Ring on to land it. That's interesting. I mean, without Paralysis, I can't 100% it without Red Ring. But maybe I'll just leave it on this setup then. I'm sure Murphy's happy to have a 
130 plus ranger now. Over 1k health, can survive stuff for the most part. It almost feels like yesterday the character was below level 80. Some debuffs going here. That was an unfortunate time to run out of TP. Oh, traps is so nice. And then you're gonna have ATP and traps, and you're not gonna know what to do with yourself. You're like, wait a minute, I can combo kill and I can just set up for my own co stupid insta-kills? Cool. Wow, oh, I got that freeze pretty much on the dot. I should be careful how much I go Foey here. I'm actually gonna not cast it for a little bit. Now I'm gonna cast it. By the way, we switched game soundtracks because we ran out of songs. <laughs> Ooh. Sneezing fit makes it hard to uh, cast spells when your eyes keep closing. Uh, I should probably keep these. There we go. It's just getting shut down so hard. Well, that should do a lot of damage because I did that from the middle of the arena. So all those Gafoe are going to hit the middle group. Nice. Runneth over. Been a little bullied in the corner of these Dwarfons. Get out of here. Two Dwarfon. Good grants. Idiot.
course I don't look at the desserts. Uh, let me answer remote battery's question. Uh, what's your view on level 30 techniques? Uh, generally not worth it. I mean, like, let's put it this way. The only impactful ones would probably be Rebarda, Razan. Arguably not even Razan. Rebarda, probably Gafoe. Rafoe. Technically Megid. We'll put that in a category and technically Grants. But honestly, like, if it's a simple tech, not worth. Yeah, the problem is, like, it's not going to be, like, a big damage difference. It matters more, I would say, on the characters that can hit the thresholds. Rienov dropped with no hit percentage. Garbage. <laughs> Disappointment in that is immense. Like, obviously, the level 30 techs are worth using, like the shift to divan, whatever. But, like, the actual rare ones, not really. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, most of the time is you could just wear a god technique and it's over. Like if you're playing a uh, faux moral in particular, you have enough free slots you could do whatever you want. You you genuinely don't need level 30 techniques. Uh, I'll pick the... I guess I'll pick up the guns just to team point them. I guess. Give me a minute. They're worth like 50, right? And I'll take that for the 50 points. Listen, chat. I think Gracia is also worth at least 10. Alright, who dropped the great? Who dropped the Rhiannon over here? Get that bad boy out of here. But, anyway, back to fighting the Zeus. See that? That was like 100 team points in one shot. I did everything I probably should do. Just debuff and get initial stuns. After that, I'm gonna believe in the chat. Goodbye, Marissa's. Die to Gafoe. done. Yeah, we'll do one yellow ID run after this, and that should leave enough time for, I think, two TTFs. And I gotta take a break. I'm across the Kofoe 30, is the baby putting on a phone to sell your free S weapons. Um... I don't know. It's... Long term, it's really just up to you. Challenge mode weapons will, F will always be more beneficial. But if you just want to say I'm using something I found, nothing really stops you either way. I'm getting actually dangerously low on fluids. There's been a surprising lack of them dropping. Actually kind of annoying. I think I have enough to finish the run, but it's still like... How I got here only picking up one dry fluid and one dive fluid is pretty bad. Uh, there should be one over here. Oh, ten trifluids have mysteriously found themselves on the floor. Hmm. <laughs> what an unusual enemy drop. Definitely gonna go pick that up. Oh, 
another trifluid for later. Honestly, I think Astron Belt out damages Rifoe here. Yeah, it does. By a lot. Thank you, Zalor. Die. Right, so we've now properly debuffed them. Let's unlock them a little bit for the team, for them to set up. Zeus. See my fireball hitting him. There we go. Just slow them up pretty much. Exactly where I want them. Play buff soonish. There we go. I'm lingering before we should make that much easier. Like, don't freeze me when I'm in a quick menu. That's just rude. Okay, since I'm in the corner, this should actually do the most damage to the group. I'm gonna spam Rabarda mostly to stun lock them. I don't care about damage. Debuff, debuff. Get a Bulu getting actually melted in real time. There we go. First 55 hit plus, and it's a normal Raygon. Mm. I've come across a few 55 hits. We've seen that extremely disappointing 65 hit laser. It could have been so good, chat. It was like, man, if it just had anything. I don't want to be the first in the room. Somebody else has to go. Yeah, Zalora with the Confuse Trap is so deadly. We'll take this as well. There we go. We're thinking ahead. We're like, do they really need assistance with Goron Dightner that's debuffed? Back that Kofoe for Satellite Lizard. End them sooner. Yeah, I think if I'm dead center in the room, the Rappies don't run. That's actually really interesting. That's now twice I've managed to make zero of them run. Poor Marissa's, though. By the time they turn to fight me, they're already dead. I welcome them to try. Yeah, I'm thinking after the event we might do a uh, the, the quest unlock in order to start putting bonuses on ES weapons. And then I'm thinking at some point chat will name my ES weapons. So I might still get one that's like generically a hell needle through trades, but I don't really want to use it until chat names their first ES weapon. Like, I don't mind borrowing one, quote-unquote, for a run, but I don't want to, like, actually invest in it until then. And then I think what I'll do is I'll put some spheres on probably a Baran's launcher. The chat will see the first time I've speared anything in Affinia, because I've not bothered doing so. But I'm at the point where I could do it if I really wanted to. So probably should do that at some point. Uh, in case I have to solo this again, Rafoe worked pretty well there. 
I'm assuming somebody just dropped it because they didn't want it. Gracia is just kind of okay. What attributes I'm going to put on the brands? Probably machine first or dark. I don't really have a purpose for native or abyss currently. But I, I don't know if I want those on separate weapons or not. That's that's my only confusion point for me. Is like in theory I would probably want something for harder areas like sea better tower. I'm gonna wait a little bit so we're synced up a little better. Oh hey, I managed to actually not hit conjure you. I did it, chat. I am the winner. So another Galatine chance on top of Heaven Strikers. So we went for a whole bunch of good rares here. Let me go, chat. And that's why you put Foey on your list. <laughs> that right there. If you had any doubts if Foey was useful, that fight would have taken forever if I didn't have that. It's so fast. And then you have Rafoe for backup in case something blocks it. So Foe New World actually kind of dumps on this boss to some extent. We're going to switch over to two Ice Staff plus Rebarda to maximize our damage. So most of the time I'm only going to get like one cast or at most maybe three anyway. I'm not going to be doing like ten plus casts in a row. Do I ideally just want to lure here? Help the team out a little bit. A little healing going. Get a nice little rounded 336 damage to everything. Oh. Hello. You can see I'm doing pretty consistent damage here. Oh. I got knocked down. That sucked. I was like one grants from killing it. Oh well. It's still in the main room. I think chat can fix that. Yeah, that's fine. Troll by spinners. Try to heal the group. I'm trying to time the heal. So close. That's fine. Yeah, like that that's relatively minor time loss. When when they're within like a hit of each other, that's not bad. 45 at Galatine on the way, says Clock Tower Joe. <laughs> I'm waiting. Uh, I'm ready for uh, Antidote. I'm gonna say Antidote from boss. I'm ready for garbage. I'm not ready. I don't think I'm gonna get anything. What did it put? Oh, it dropped money. Uh, that, that, that's above my expectations. There we go. Murphy living large with the Galatine. Congratulations. Hey, at least we could say the Galatine run paid off. I'm going to put some stuff away. We're going to do one more of these runs, but I'm going to switch characters. Fifteen native ABs. <laughs> Damn, active booing of the stats. Brutal. So I should probably put one in my inventory. There's so many techniques I need to put on a character. I haven't decided who, though. Yeah, also, chat, we need to figure out what to do with these bronze badges. <laughs> they're, they're kind of a problem. Um, Put this back, put this back, put this back. Put this back, put this back, put this back. Keep those on. I think that should be good. I'm going to play a different character. I don't know if I have to Heavenly HP them to survive. We'll find out, though. It'll be a big question mark. I'm going to make sure I hand in the quest, so get extra money. T-Bank 6? Yes.
five hours of gameplay. Yeah, he's ready for episode four. Right, Chad? It'll, it'll be fine. Yeah, five hours, level 114. Very normal. Yeah, I only need to wear three triple heavenly HPs to survive. It'll be fine. Hey, I might even level and I might only need two. Oh, he's already rearing a Heavenly HP. Well, that limits it down then. <laughs> Let's go get two more Heavenlies, I suppose. This'll be fun. I would love it if it triggered my invincibility on the mag. That would make me very happy. Um, I could just teach him my better techniques if I want to. Maybe. I think I'm with Amigit on somebody else. I'll leave it there. I probably want the grants on somebody different. Uh, that should be good enough. So on the way there, I just need this to survive. These if I want to. I should probably go get some fluids, and then we're good to go. Oh, actually, no, we're not. I need to get a... Uh, the barriers. Hi, Ben. Let's go pick those up right now. He's got the invincibility. Oh, he's got a Rappy Mag on. Oh, that's actually annoying. Do I have a different mag that has invincibility? It actually matters. Kind of? No, because Sado's not the one I'm looking for. And what happened to my Nidra mags? I had a Nidra mind mag. Oops. Well, oh well. I was going to abuse invincibility on this boss, but I seem to not have it in here. Unless I really want to max that mag. It doesn't super feel worth it to me, but I guess I could try it. Oh well. We're good. 46 mine Nidra? No, that's not high enough. Yeah, I have I have a max stat for somebody. I don't know who it's for. Could even be for the phone human, to be honest. I'll wear it to see if I want to do it. I'll make a decision later. So yeah, so I I don't know who maybe one of my other characters was holding on to it by accident. Like it could be on my white force. It's more likely than not on my white force to have the 150 mine. So normally what would happen is if you had invincibility, if you put yourself at, let's say around 920 health, and you get hit by the 880 laser, it's always going to trigger a boss invincibility chance. So I could just abuse that until I become invincible to the boss, which does save a lot of time when that happens. But unfortunately, I think I left it on my white uh, force. So... Oh well. Might be a future Hell Cleave request. I feel like Hell Cleave. I just need more floating Nidras. I don't even need them like actively worn. I just need them. Slow them down with Gafoe here. I like that he's pretty much competitive in damage to the other character. Despite the hilarious level gap of like almost 80 levels. Oh, forces. You should have been allowed to scale way better with MST. I guess.
should have been stacking a moment ago. Anyway, nice and simple stacks. They don't even have to worry about the Yowies at all. They should just die to me instantly. I mean, presumably this character should level multiple times in this run. So if I get to, what is it, 884 or something, I think I survive laser. And if it's the other version of the ball, well, I don't think it can be. I, I think it's like, isn't Shamperton the one that does like 908 and the others do 882 or something? I always forget. I know it's very close to that number. That much I remember each time. I did not gel in them. That was silly. I was like, the frame-wielding faux Newman at level 113 will not survive this. Some debuffs on, go back to Kapoe stacking, hopefully it hits the Rappies. More worried about that than the next enemy wave. Eventually, it's going to be Astark into Goron, Det or not Goron Detonator, into Pyro Gorons, which I don't really want to use. Perfect. Now I think I'm in time for it. Pull him down a little bit. <laughs> the nightmare wave for me where I could just get Wombo Comboed and die. Deal with them real quick. Nice and easy. on 26 sure we'll go pick that up i did it chad i learned a technique i should not have good away there that was a mistake hopefully it wears off in a moment it did but not in a way that was useful whatever I wasn't sure if it was going to interrupt their charge or not. It just depends on where it's placed. I usually like to wait till the end of the wave, but sometimes I forget because I just see Satellite Lizard and I just want to blow them up. The urge to kill is intense, chat. It's what I'm telling you. No survival. Only murder. Now that everybody's here... Breathes. Always. Should stun them. Back to the Bowie. Nice level up. Not quite enough to not die. At least I could say I tried. I think we got invaded by a, a bot briefly. Yeah, once we finish this up, we'll just do two TTFs, and that'll be it for now. TBD when the start time of Friday's stream will be. I got some things I have to do. Just keep an eye out on the Discord. But I'll have the most accurate updates. So I, I want to spend some time on the guides before I go into PSO. Then I might be going out for food in the afternoon, so it could be like a 3 or a 4 p.m. start. I'm a little too close to one side, unfortunate. If I was more centered, I would have gotten more Defoe's. Oh well.
Okay. I don't have Barda set up. I went to go use it. And I'm like, wait a minute. I mean, I have it on eight allegedly, but whatever. It's not on my control panel. That's where I like to have it. The spell that almost never sees you, except for in, in those exact scenarios. Or if I'm playing like solo, ruins, Darkbringer or whatever. But I, I don't think I've done solo ruins in a long, long time outside of like testing the Hunu roll. Back to stacking. Believe in the team's DPS. I'm not needed for this fight. More important, I shut down Cenolite Wizards. Probably gonna get hit by the Power Goron here, so as soon as this enemy wave dies, I'm gonna cancel the menu. To get that debuff. Good assessment. <laughs> He did try to bully me. So we're gonna help with a couple of Zalors. We're gonna go back to Kofoe stacking. So we know it's gonna be a Marissa wave, so might as well prepare for it again. Yeah, look at that damage meanwhile. They barely have to care at all. Fight will basically play itself. Uh, oh, I got stuck in the animation. That sucked. So, like, I canceled the menu, but I was already mid-cast, so like, it didn't do anything. <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh well. We'll continue to chip out, and then when we see the Marissa combo, we'll switch over to just Rufoe. It'll be the last Gifoe here, I think. Yeah, I don't have demons, but I do have grants since the lower 30, so it shouldn't take too long. Okay, so I make sure to TP up since I'll be the one stunlocking the zoos. We're gonna do a little wiggle dance to ensure that they dive on me. Thank you, Wiggle Dance. Okay, I'm gonna walk forward two steps to get the debuff on the Goron Detonators. I'll help out a little here. And my main purpose will be using Gafoe stacks. Yeah, we gotta recognize I gotta do some damage to them to speed it up, but. It's more preferable for things like this Marissa wave that they just take like 2k and die potentially. A good freeze trap, they only have to focus on the zoo, which I'll also be chipping out with fire. Next fireball, I'm gonna just cancel. There we go. Debuff, debuff. Full Rebardas. Chip them out with Rafoe while getting the lizard. Select cloak. I guess I could take that. Buff debuff. Wow, that did that much with a gelin. I'd hate to oh, I'd hate to see what happens if I didn't debuff them there. Unfortunately they knocked me down before the satellite lizard wave. Oh well. The odds of me leveling again are looking pretty good. Should still hopefully be centered for the rappings. Yeah, I was close enough. Most of them should die before they bully me. Unlock a couple of them. And a few 
seconds. Fire trap. Walk away. Hmm. Nothing of interest, sadly. <laughs> I'm seeing all these Gabardas being dropped. I know it's a Goron Detonator wave, so it might as well as Rafoe. Technically faster. I did not mean to try fluid there, that was silly. Okay. So far I don't really have a reason to get Bowie stack, because I already know what's coming up next. Take this opportunity to rebuff the other player. <laughs> ah, there we go. Shouldn't take too long. <laughs> yeah, they're just spamming their fire traps. They should die soon. Nice try, Marissa's already stacking. Threat controlled. Oh yeah, here's my level up. Nice. You know what's sad? I think I am... I might actually have literally enough to HP. I think I have literally enough to survive. This would have been like the perfect time to take that Nidra. I guess I could still equip the Nidra and see how it goes. No downside to that, I suppose. And then Mantle, nice. Unlock the Goron Detonators. They're trying. But alas, it was all for naught. Okay, I can try to go for the invincibility thing. I don't super care about donating in this fight. We have so much ATP. Including two can of Rougers. They're definitely debuffing. Now that they've been weakened, let's go for stacks. That way they should do very minimal damage to the team. Healer casts up, maybe save them a healing item. Back to stacks. Even if it just slows down the Goron Detonators, that's fun here. Take it. Well, that actually did a decent damage to the Rappies. Like that. Poor Marissa's. <laughs> it's getting absolutely destroyed. Man, it's so nice to... Even though I'm a low level force, it's so nice that I can hit like my power cap <laughs> just so easily with them. The investment is so much lower than every other character. I'm always curious what they would have thought for a rebalance for the different classes, what they would have tried to done. Gonna say, can you imagine if like weapon attribute actually mattered for MST? Or if they decided that luck bonus would scale your base MST or something to balance out the characters with higher MST totals? Just a shame there's kind of dead stats for them. Bulu is so done. Hmm. I'll go for the Nidra attack. See how it works. Do I have escaped all? I do not. 
Uh, okay, well, time to find out in real time. Guess I'll put in another Heavenly just in case. Rip my ATP. And wait a little bit. See what boss we get here. Regular boss. Oh no, the Galatine attempt. Okay. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna go listen. <laughs> we went for it. I mean, the invincibility trigger there did save me. It's just my damage is very low. So technically working is intended. Only I wish I had about 200 more MST than I have currently. Well. Time to see how much damage this does. It's possible I don't need to have the Heavenly on. I can put on an Adept instead. Is it, I have to be at a very specific health total for it to work. I just know it's sub 1,000 for it to be consistent. Let's find out in real time. Can't get rid of a heavenly. What I wanted to know. And now I could just randomly become invincible whenever I get hit by that. Which is good, because he's in spam mode apparently. <laughs> yeah, just be careful. Whoever I I think Kaiser is too far to the side. You need to be like dead center for it. Did I seriously not get an invincibility trigger? That's unlucky. Yeah. As long as you're dead center, it should always work. But if you're, like, off the one side, you can't hit the side ones. There we go. Careful. No! Unfortunate. <clears throat> I managed to save one of them, but I don't know. It's up to the other team if they can pop both. It's gonna be hard. Potentially. Yeah, they get one shot at it here. Yeah, it's too hard. I'm just gonna walk back to the other room. Ooh, it didn't go behind me. Where did it go? Oh, it went the opposite side. That sucks. Yeah, that's the downside. So, it's all part of a learning experience, but this boss is very finicky. It does not like you being anything other than dead center. So I'm used to just being there as the force, because I just legit can't even hit the other ones without Rebarda. I think I could get away with the Grants here. Oh, for the dolphin. I respect that. Brad Ziggy Pixter? On what? I just noticed that over there. Do you mean on the select cloak from earlier? I didn't really get anything. <laughs> I'm not gonna get hit, Galatine. I think I did a long time ago. Calvisham has it. That was before they made Galatine useful. I told him if he wanted to keep it, he could keep it. The Galatine, yeah, that's not happening. I still haven't gotten one from this boss. I was gonna say, the only Galatine I have is from uh, Gal Griffin. By spamming a lot of yellow boss. What did the boss drop? Oh, just messed that up. 
Oh boy, I can't get a 40 hit striker. Ooh. Okay. Let's end with a couple TTFs. Got dolled. Hmm. So unfortunately, it didn't trigger. I had four attacks, I think, that could have given me the invincibility. I chose not to. Kind of unlucky. So many materials to put away. Buy some tri-fluids for him, and then I'll just pick... I don't know, what do I want to do the run with? I don't really want to play a force into DTF. I don't enjoy that. Um, I guess I could bring in. Okay, the options are Viridian, Sky, Green. Shout any preference for TTF ID. I could technically I could technically also bring in White, but the character is not leveled enough. Nah, we don't need force for it. I guess I could do Viridian. But these will be the Two final runs before I go on break and switch games. So I'll go get food and come back and restream. Don't want to confuse people that think we're still doing PSO afterwards. Just laugh every time I look at my setup. I'm like, yeah, that looks accurate. Almost did VR Forest. That would have been something. <laughs> Runs that aren't worth it. Viridian Forest. Yeah, as long as we just have a raw moral. I mean, we have like a million casts. We'll be fine. Star Amplifier. Guess I'll go pick that up. Out of room still. Oh, because the ruby bullet I'm holding. Uh, whatever. I don't want it that badly. Say it's bully the boss time. How's Black Count Grace compared to Deep Heart 101? Uh, for Rocket Seal, she absolutely does not need Black Count Grace. She just wants damage. So I will always pick Deep Heart. Deep Heart is the offense. Black Hound is like the single player or like weaker team defense. So for me, I want to squeeze out every little possible bit of damage on the character possible. That's why she has Red Ring plus Deep Heart 1.01. Like that kind of armor would matter less on a Hugh cast. He would probably want more utility or something like 13 instead. Uh, I guess I'll get rid of something. There we go. That's pretty good box drops, actually. Look, material and PD. But we're gonna be slime duping in in a second. One, two, three. 
Yeah, Rocket Seal's big issue is that she just can't kill anything in one combo, unless you have like really good weapon attributes. So I will squeeze out any bit of damage I can. Three, four, what is it? Like she could kinda injure me, but like not really. Yeah, Blackhound I'll put as I said before, if I'm playing single player and I can't get buffs, sometimes I just want to be able to tank a hit or two. It is that is the the Blackhound is hilarious when you're playing endless. Because of the fact that there's challenges for don't take any damage. But sometimes I will put that on and put on Gracia when playing that, just because if you have any kind of buffs from other players, you're effectively invincible. Like, genuinely, you just can't take damage unless it's from set damage. Because that Blackhound Karace plus Gracia combo is so much raw defense. And obviously, if you have Red Ring, you get Red Ring, but, uh... Prior to that, it's much easier to do that combo. It's going to be interesting. No rebuffs. All we need is a lore. Fortunately, I have Excal, so it should go pretty quickly. Go down into the right. Like, if I tried Yashminikoving the uh, Red Sinnoh, I wouldn't be able to kill him. So, the best I could do is kind of set up a freeze trap and let him jump to me a little bit. Knowing that she's so tanky, I don't have to dodge. <laughs> like, like, even with deep parts, she takes no damage. It's, like, really funny. If that enemy had been debuffed, if he even did more than single digits to me, I would be surprised. Her raw def 688 base defense is very silly. Downside is the set before though. Without like really strong weapon percentages, it's hard for her to combo kill. And the nice thing about deep hearts also as a reminder for people is that because it it's an armor that adds it, it's like red ring in the sense where if you go and do that, that is going to result in your weapon attribute multiplier impacting that ATP. If you, in theory, had 100 native and you're fighting a, a a native enemy with it, you double the effectiveness of it. No worries, Kaiser. I'm so sad they nerfed V101 here. Goodbye, V101, my beloved. I will give you the salute. Uh... There we go, the redemption. I shot it that time. I did it, chat. I put a freeze trap and I can't in Rouge. Yeah, it, it is very funny. If you play with uh, this character and the Fomaro, that duo is so unkillable. <laughs> Put put a virus server on the Fomarl and give her a red ring. It's hilarious. Like legit, no enemy can hit you except for set, set damage when you're at max defense. So sad. They're gonna try their best and just be like, nope, fail. I probably have more ATP. Looking for the stun lock.
Huh. Okay, we'll have to do an ATP check. We'll find out in real time. Did I imagine a, a raw cast with 200 missing ATP? Yeah, because I, I should be at almost effectively 1160 or 1170. It's pretty high. It's not going to be higher than like raw cast at like 180. But good enough. Goodbye, boss. I could use Excalibur here. Like, if this was Hue Cast, I could just charge Vulcan my way through it, but I know even if I used it here, it wouldn't actually kill. You're gonna see that here when I go to land this Excalibur. It doesn't do enough damage. Felt still hit me while he was dead. That was rude. Normally it cancels that. Must have been just like a frame too slow or something silly. Oh well. Back to murder. Since we're waiting for the team, we might as well just kill these. We'll take that. <laughs> that micro positioning. I shot the furthest target with my machine gun. I'll take it. Not my original intent, but I'll take it. Okay. I'm out of here. Alright, so we'll equip Heaven Striker and we should be good. Don't mind me, just regenning HP. Yeah, as I learned from before, normally what I'll do is if I'm playing Q-Cast and I'm playing Dark Flow, I will just gear a soul at the beginning. Oh, that was... I had time to itch my eye. But anyway, I was saying before, at the beginning I usually just gear a soul, so I'm just thinking, eh. Just hold still and regen some HP, it might matter. Next few should end this. There we go. Normal heavy special, normal heavy special, normal heavy. So you can see, like, I have a 93% chance to hit the boss with a, I think, all zero at Heaven Striker. But this character doesn't need a lot for her to get consistency. Oh, I got invincibility. Joke's on you, boss. <laughs> I'll take that. Is that the end of the soundtrack? No, it's just being weird. Somber piano music intensifies. 
Equip Murphy. I was not expecting to get hit there since I wasn't being targeted. That was interesting. Let's see, no L and Ks. Will there be any red rings for the team today? For me. Clean these up. items to put away, I guess. Some more just to laugh at than to actually use, but that's how it is with PSO sometimes. officially put the Excalibur away so I could put this between characters. I would like to actually use this on other characters. Keep the rest of her items though. That away. This away. away. Okay. And I'll do one run as the Hue cast. I, I do want to make sure he gets more levels. So we, we got a good start. We did level him today, but it never hurts to get a little extra. Plus, I think it would be funny to see him use the Excalibur. That roll damage must be very dumb, regardless of buffs. Nicely done. swap characters, and we'll do one last run. So that'll put him within about two runs to level. That's not too bad. Let's bring in more damage. Let Murphy stunlock the screens forever. I'll try the Excalibur out on this character. And then I have to have a designated technique holder because I am super out of space and I'm not even putting that many bad items in. I'm not even sure why I'm so capped. I think it's just purely these middle techniques. Like at least 20 that don't belong there. The rest I sometimes switch into. Anyway. And 
the final run. Let's see if we get anything nice. The Sky ID, I know we 100% want to mur murder the Sorcerer. We're gonna go for those off-chance Ubers, whether it's Lavas Cannon or Psycho Wand. That way we could say we did a run that technically had it. The damage is so stupid. Love it. Makes me smile every time I see it. I'm gonna smile every time I see it. There's a Disco Brave Man. Goodbye. Should be able to get a couple free kills while walking away here. Now that was the deletion. There we go, I was gonna say, I should be multi hitting this. Let's see if I can guess where the warp is. I guess it's over here. Not that far off. Not that far off. Shock shockingly not that far off. I had to guess. I guess maybe... I guess maybe I have to hold a little... Maybe it's like opposite directions. Maybe I have to hold a little left. Because I was holding right to try to put it to the right, but I wasn't there. Maybe it's opposites when it comes to that. Buy slimes. One, two, three, four. Now it should work. little deletion there. Oh boy. This is going to be an interesting room. There we go. We assisted. We dropped the freeze trap. Okay, back to slime duping. One, two, three, spam that fire trap. Get free badges, maybe. Oh, rare slime. I'm gonna need assistance from the chat. Goodbye, rare goodbye everything other than rare slime. Demolition comet, huh? Oh well, we tried. I mean, it came with hit. I guess it's not the worst thing to get the new players. It's talking before. That's like a decent Ubi item, but it's not like anything in game for sure, sadly. Damn, I'm down to one telepipe left. I gotta restock later. Oh, I did get invincibility. Nice. Hmm. I imagine Jaya is faster than the Excalibur, but I'm kind of curious how much damage this will do. Oh, that was a really awkward cut to the song. I'm not gonna lie. It just ends. That was the end of the song. We'll go put on another soundtrack after this. It's not bad. Die is definitely faster. Laconium Axe. There you go. Did this seriously roll with hit? Game, please. Right, chat? Like, come on, what is this? I'm shaking my head at this. I'm going to get rid of it. Anyway, back to confused traps. G 
should probably heal. Do we already know a charge ball can combo kills as long as they have any shifter on Red Sino? This Hue cast is kind of busted. Just I'll be forced to use charge. Like, oh no. It is indeed Soul Calibur 2. It's wrapped up Soul Calibur 1. Prior to that Soul Blade. Yeah, watch this dumb damage. So my visual cue is I wait for his body to appear. Then I put the freeze trap. Then when he lands, I never have to shoot it and he's just dead. Like that's so consistent. I like that I actually have a visual cue for that. There's like no randomness to it at all. Yeah, you need to get out of my way. Final TTF. Will we get anything interesting? <laughs> it's basically all rangers and then gone from Hue cast. I'll try to slow it down here. See, I didn't recognize the intro, but I recognize this song. So I'm selecting the, the maps. I could Excalibur a post if it comes up. Good enough. <laughs> I was gonna say, I remember playing as Ivy and doing the pretzel motion to defeat people with her throw. Are you trolling me? Not this. Player one's getting hated on chat. <laughs> Vol up. <laughs> if if player one equals Ziggy Pixter, shoot him repeatedly. Annoy him. Oh, chat's not popping boxes. They're scaring me. There we go. Should work. So he kills in four hits, and honestly, if I crit twice, he kills in three. Uh, I don't feel like risking anything. to say sure would be a shame if someone were to uh, pop his crystal and kill him simultaneously. Uh oh. I wanted to do box checks. I didn't want to I didn't want to dodge for my life. Yeah I'm out of here. Box check no longer worth. Uh I guess I'll try man. Combo kill. Oh I gotta teleplate back. Nice. Freeze trap over here, freeze trap over here. That's not a freeze trap. That's okay, that's a dead sorcerer anyway. Buy Deldies. It's just so fast at killing them, chat. It's just. I'll take that dime for sure, actually. But handgun time. Because the Humar isn't there, you're right. If Humar go boil boil blood target target forever. Punish punish if Humar. If Humar equals true, birder. Is that a monolith? Is indeed a monolith. Let's see if it is a red ring.
Can you believe there was more to that game? Like, I, I refuse to play the DLC. I think we talked about that last time. I don't even think it's, like, good in, like, an entertainingly bad way. It's just bad. The series was at least unironic... Well, ironically funny. I almost unironically like it because it's so bad. It's, like, truly a masterpiece of how bad that game is. If they improved it in any way, I just wouldn't even play it. You believe in the red rank. <laughs> like, they had to have known they were writing a comedy at some point, unintentionally. I mean, it's got all, like, the best quotes on it. It's got keep on keeping on of our voice redemptions. Such a that, that was so ridiculously dumb in context. That might be my favorite part, to be honest with you, of the game. That that whole hour when you're in the town was just so absurd. For Marco specifically, true. Dark Marco is also funny. In Radiant Historia. Oh, the boss missed me? GG. <laughs> Sucks to thuck. Should have aimed at me. Guys, okay, so we're gonna go normal, normal, special, I think. I don't think I'm gonna go for two heavies here. Yeah, that's big damage. We're gonna hover L and K in case I need to snipe. I don't. Nice. Oh my gosh, the boss is cooperating? What is that? The boss is cooperating? What's happening? You get, unless you're gonna short cycle here. You're not? Oh, you're dead. GG. You're not surviving, Charge Vulcan. Get out of here. Stupid boss. Nicely timed. Rip boss. <laughs> that was so fast. See, that's why that's why I'm starting to fall in love with the Hugh Mart, or not the Hugh Mart, the Hugh cast. Where just sometimes you just don't want the boss to exist anymore. And it just it just does its job. Like if, if there's enough robots around you, that's all the safety you need to play Hugh cast. Are there like two other casts and somebody that buffs? Good enough. I I might have gotten guardian armor from the boss, I'm not sure. I know it's money. Trial of free life has expired. Oh man. Nothing interesting there. But hey. That means in two TTFs, this character will level again. We're just putting this character ever closer to the goal of level 180. So I think every character has earned their own red ring so far, except for the raw moral on the white ID. We'll see where it goes from there. I'm getting blonged. Turn that off. Yeah, put the Excalibur back. So, I mean, I guess if I want to save money in a group, it's fine. But if I want to be fast, I still got to use Jaya. It's fair. Sometimes I just don't feel like burning 30, 40k to make the run go faster. Okay, let's do a quick check of materials and PDs from this week so far. Remember, I put these away. We're back up to 53 silver badges, so I could probably get up to 20 gold. At some point, I'm going to bronze badge gamble. I don't know if it'll be on stream or off stream. It would be like a joke stream at some point. Uh, I'm at 44 defense, 4 luck, 38 HP. Mid 30s and most of the other materials. Even my grinders are back up to 30, despite me using several of them. So... Not bad, for a week. I'll do an exact count on my gold badges later. The goal will be 40 for the end of the event. But right now I'm halfway there, and the event is not even quite halfway through yet. Oh wow, we actually got a escape doll. We didn't disappoint Terrell. We did it, chat. Get that money. I went profitable as you cast, that's all that matters. But anyway, champ, let's have a quick champ. 
So, sadly, uh, there were some good run or good items. I think overall the runs were pretty solid uh, throughout. We did a lot of episode four, ended with a bit of TTF. We contributed a bit to the anniversary. Unfortunately, I think if we really want to see another bonus, I think one of our streams will probably have to grind out the atrocities. And right now we've been using the other streams to kind of level up our alt characters. So I think we're almost at the point where we could realistically do that. Because once the characters get in like the 140, 150 range, it's not too terrible. But getting that base amount of ATA and base ATP versus like the level 80 equivalency is kind of important. So we'll see. We might wait another session or so before we dive into those. Because right now they're pretty far behind. I'm going to refresh here. So we're waiting on 7,000 points. Like, August Atrocity 1 is 300 points behind. Tower and Seabed are still sub-7,000. And honestly, I kind of don't care about the Seabed run, like, it in terms of difficulty. So I wouldn't mind running that regardless of character, since at least most of us have Hell access at this point. So that's not too bad. The difference between 40 per hit and 2100 per hit is massive, yeah. Because the problem is, like, if we don't have at least one really solid character, like, how do you kill an Epsilon <laughs> with a low-level team? Like, demons will only take you so far. We we need the base ATP to even hit the thing. So, and ill gills, of course. So, being able to deal with that in a quick and timely manner is kind of important. So, we'll see. I don't mind contributing more towards maybe some tower or seabed in the future. Since, as I said before, Seabed is pretty easy compared to some of the atrocities that exist in Episode 2. And the tower run wasn't too bad, but again, that kind of requires an ideal setup of probably like a Force 2 cast, at least two Rangers. That's good spam fire trap, yeah. So I'm not too worried about our other clears. So we, we might power through that closer to the weekend. Maybe Friday we'll just be leveling the other characters, which we've been adding to, as I said before, so... Little by little, we'll make it possible. But it looks like everything else has a pretty good amount of runs. Crater we added to is at 8.5 thousand. Lines is at 8.9. Temple and Spaceship surprisingly above 7 thousand. So yeah, we'll contribute some, because every time we do a run we add 8 points. So I'm hoping by tomorrow we should see a bonus, and if we don't have it, and it's within, let's say, like, 30 or 40 points, I guess we'll push it as a group. But for now, I like that we went for all the different rares. Disco Brave Man, Galatine, Lame to Argent, Heaven Striker, Cannon Rouge. So we got a lot of the big items out of the way, which is nice. Well, sad I have to put my charge armor away, at least for episode 4. Um... Honestly, you don't even need to put it away for episode 4. I'm not sure why you did if you did. Because there's a lot of Goron waves. And then if you confuse trap uh, satellite lizards, you can charge arm them anyway. Yeah, like the only thing we didn't really do is Frozen Shooter in that list. Yeah, and honestly, you could still use it on Lizard. Because with Confused Trap, they put their back to you, so half of them will always get hit, yeah. So it's like, you just... <laughs> the, the Hunters just have to target whatever is not currently uh, facing away from you. It's not that bad. It's a little awkward, I would say, in Desert. Specifically, because it makes them teleport, but that's just kind of Rangers in general. That's where you pick out the Pew Pew Laser to stop them from teleporting. Because otherwise, if it's all Hunters, they don't even teleport, and it's actually just really easy to kill them. So I can kind of see a party of, like, two Hue Casts, one Raw Cast, and then a Force or something. Where it's actually more Hue Cast oriented than Raw Cast. I could see that. Yeah, we did most of the major hunts, at least. Raw Cast Pew Pew Lasers. Yeah, there you go. Like, hold on, let me put on this Striker unit real quick. But anyway, chat, I'm going to go take a food break, and uh, probably sometime Friday, check the Discord, uh, we will continue. And for now, I guess we'll say goodbye to YouTube. If you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching, and see you in the next part.